Trinidad at the Larkita Recreation Ground for this Ascension Tournament Match Week 9 fixture. Timonix Larkita Rangers, they face up against the team from the capital, AC Port of Spain. Just a reminder, Timonix Larkita Rangers sit in top position at the table. They're in first on 20 points. They've gotten wins in seven of their fixtures while drawing two. AC Port of Spain, it's a different story. They're in sixth position, only nine points. But more importantly, they have been the biggest movers in the competition, getting wins in their last two matches. Well, James Saunders is my name, and I'm joined by Colin Murray for what an exciting fixture as we welcome our viewers on CCN TV6 in Trinidad and Tobago and those around the region at Sportsmax. It's a big fixture, one with a team that is in good form and getting some momentum coming up against the team that are yet to be beaten in this competition. Yeah, it should really be a very interesting game here again. Um, you're talking about a team that is, they've got the home support, they're playing well, um, they're top of the league against a team now that has suddenly found the feet, found the form, has got uh, some wins behind them and they've got some confidence. So, you know, it's, it's not a situation where uh, Rangers can just walk out here and think that they're going to take this game. It's far from it. Um, I expect AC Port of Spain to fight them all the way and, and they can very well spring a surprise. Yeah, most certainly. Well, we did have a chat uh, with some folks earlier on. That's right. The, the AC uh, Port of Spain technical director, uh, James, had a chat with him. Let's listen to that interview. I'm here with the technical director for AC Port of Spain, Mr. Bato. Uh, your team, you've been making moves. Two back-to-back -back wins for your team. Uh, do you feel like the momentum is shifting in your favor? Actually, um, we would like to make it three back-to-back -back games after today. And in the early part of the, the competition, we focus on the fitness of the guys because we, we recognize that the competition started and most teams would uh, be searching for that level of fitness. And we think we got them to some level and now we started focusing on the tactical part of the football. You're coming up against the league leaders. That's a tough task. What is the mindset like in your camp? Actually, the sessions leading up to this game, they were very good. And uh, presently right now, even in, even in the camp right now, the, the energy is high. I think, I think um, they're coming into their own. We recognize that we, we are the, in the Lions then, if you want to call it that, the home base of Rangers. But football is what it is. It's, it's a game. And once the final whistle hasn't blown, both teams have a chance. And we feel we have a good chance to see them. You're also the biggest movers in the last round or so in terms of progression of the table. Um, what can we expect from your team tonight? Football. All right. Thanks so very much, Coach. You're most welcome. <laughs> I'm here with Dave Corman, a uh, Timonex Lockheed Rangers coach. Uh, you dropped a point last week, but you're still at the top of the table. What's your mindset like in your camp tonight? Okay. Um, just to get a win, I think we, 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 start, we start with, with outer point. And we, 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 we try to, every game we try to win. Um, last game was 14 it, but we were lucky. Time to see their charges make their way on the field as we enjoy the Friday night action here in La Hokita. Just about 7.5 kilometers away, due east from the Piaco International Airport. Sydney has been a hotbed of football every Friday evening. And uh, today, no different. Uh, certainly today, no different. And um, the crowd is starting to come in. And we always get a, a packed house here when Rangers are playing. And um, I expect the crowd to build in the next few minutes. Um, so far, it's not a very big crowd. But here comes the officials uh, together with the players. And um, Rangers starting as, as hot favorite. They should really... Um, in red, they should really come out here and uh, put on a good display. And I expect them actually to win the game. But having said that, AC Port of Spain, they are going to fight tooth and nail to get a result. Well, lots of experience in the referees cast coming out this evening. Jassy McLean in there and uh, Caleb Wells to the far right. Easy man recently appointed to serve at the FIFA World Cup later this year. As the man to the right of your screen, Sir so Caleb Wales, Jassy McDonald, and uh, Cox will be the men in charge of this fixture. Tyrone Charles will wear the captain's armband for Timonex La Hockata Rangers. He's to the far left of your screen. 
he replaces Jamal Crichton, who has been re rested for the first time in this tournament, yeah. and that's a big surprise. Real Gill, of course, uh, his contribution to this team has been very good. So they've had some changes. Leslie Russell will be out. Jesus Perez, the former TNT Youth International, will be in there. So lots of changes in the Timonex Lockheed Rangers camp as they come up against an AC Portis being team looking to continue on their good form. Yeah, it's, um, it's going to be a tough one for Rangers. You know, when you're at the top, you, they only, you, you only got one way to go. But um, look at the skippers just uh, making, taking the toss. And, uh, so just a word with the captains as we take a look at the lineups beginning with the team from the capital JL Poon Lewis he's been one of the top performers the goalkeeper in goal for them they've got Malik Mirez he's been decent Maurice Ford has TNT Youth International experience Mikel Poon Angaran played in Argentina with Banfield and his experience would be required in the middle of the field while Che Benny is expected to spearhead the attack for them. Walt Noriga is the coach of the team. And on the opposite end for Terminix La Hawk, it's a ranger as well. They've shuffled more than a schoolyard bingo. Russ Russell Jr. keeps his place together with Jevon Morris, Caleb Sturge. They would look to spearhead the defense with Jesus Perez, a TNT Youth International. Daniel David and the man from Maruga, Maurice Dick will man the middle. While Real Gill, Tyrone Charles, and uh, Isaiah Raymond will spearhead the attack for them. Look at that bench. It's a pack bench. And they're coached, of course, by Dwayne Komina. Isn't that a strong bench indeed? You can pick any of those to come on, and, and they can make a difference to this game. So it's going to be really tough for AC Port of Spain. But we thought it would have been tough for Canupia last week, and they held on for a draw. So anything is possible. So the teams are rearing and ready for action in this fixture. Real Gill, what impact will he have today? He scored the lone goal for Timonex Lark with the Rangers last week. And he's hands down been one of the best players in the tournament. 18 years old, expected to spearhead this attack. So referee Cox looks at his whistle and decides that it's time for action here at the Lockheed Recreation Ground. Some next Lockheed Rangers in red against AFC Port of Spain in yellow. Well, almost immediately, Gill gets in the act, in the action. And uh, expect to see a lot from him. And the attack that includes Tyrone Charles and that man, Russ Russell Jr., the left fullback. Just loves scoring goals. He's among the top scoring defenders so far in the tournament. What a chance could open up here. Easy in the end for the goalkeeper. Well, the rhythm section already in high gear. It's only the opening minute of the match. Might give you an idea of the tempo we can expect from this fix here. Well, it's a tussle for this one. One that's won in the end by Muresh. And uh, Caleb Sturge has a chase on his hands. Uh, he wins. Oh, the jamming now starts. Excuse my tuny parlance, but that's exactly what it is. And the crowd, the crowd is starting to build as well. So we expect, uh, we expect the drums to get even louder as the crowds come in. Well, that's a man who will have a lot on his shoulders. Punangaran did play in Argentina, the band field, before getting his first few caps with the national team on the. Terry Fennick and uh, followed by Angus Eve. Yes, Che Benny to Angeron linking up well. And already in a good position here. Chance opening up. And uh, well, Jeff Warren Morris was solid as he kept that out. Well, they'll appeal for this one, but it's a throw for the home team. 
Real Gil, he's a small lad, not afraid of big challenges. Well cut out. Daniel David, Maurice Dick. Goes against him though, it's a free kick to AC Port of Spain. They've started well, AC Port of Spain. Pushing forward, trying to put Rangers under some pressure. Well won. As they push forward here with Isaiah. Looking for room and it sends Junior Asun on a sprint. Oh, that's a good looking service. Is anybody at the back door? Tyrone Charles just missed it. Real Gill. Opening up the Daniel David. Well, a yellow shirt somehow got in the way and it gave away a corner kick, but I'm sure nobody's going to be complaining. Yes, the thing is, you can't give away the ball in the middle of the field. And once they, once they give away the ball, it's real problems. Oh, that one flashed across the pace of the goal. Sends the high energy egged on by the rhythm section at the stretch there. Jesus Perez, chance could open up here and a shot. Oh, side netting had some spectators jumping off their seat. And uh, wow, well, if that's the kind of action that we're expecting, that's a good trailer. It certainly is, it certainly is good action at the moment. And by AC Port of Spain, they are not afraid to take the game to the Rangers team. It was a difficult angle, he had to get it right and he had to maybe go for the far post. Well, Maurice Ford and uh, well, the keeper had to do a bit more than he thought that he had to. It's a corner. What a start we've seen so far. Maurice Dick, the man from Grand Chimay and Maruga, causing early trouble. It was stepping under the bar, and the keeper had to make sure and get a touch. Well, they're appealing for another corner. It's a goal kick, though. So we've seen opportunities on both ends. Maurice Ford for Terminex Rangers. And the man who scored a hat-trick last week, Sidel McLean for AC Port of Spain. Look at it. It's just probably dipping under the bar. He did well. But most importantly, as a goalkeeper, he kept his eyes on it all the way through. What a seven minutes we've witnessed so far. Yes, Shea Benny, traffic. Oh, he just got him out of that well. And uh, well, that shot is deflected. Can't afford to give him room, Shea Benny. It's a throw. Well, Caleb Sturge to Benny. And uh, this time, Jevon Morris gets his size 12 in the way. Tell you what, I think that Caleb Stairs is going to have his hands full. And then he continues to float in that left side pocket. But he has to hurry. Does well, keeps it alive. Eastman wins the throw.
Well, this is long in the area, looking for Tyrone Charles and Papun well, Lewis holds on. Well, they've got a family connection in goal for AC Port of Spain. You might have seen his younger brother in earlier matches in goal. This is the older brother, Jadel Poon Lewis. Of course, AC Port of Spain. They're a club that has replaced Northeast Stars in the competition. But they're a team made up of players from the Port of Spain and environs. Here's Maurice Dick. That's a good ball. Looking for Real Gill. Always an air of excitement anyway, anytime he's involved. But this time he's denied. Yeah, he just ran past the ball really. He tried to take it with him and um, just left the ball behind him, which made it easy for the defender to put it out of play. But um, good ball to Gill. He's got some room outside there as well. Morris. Did well. Junior Asun gets involved. Maybe too long and uh, well. Wasn't going to give him any room there. The sliding challenge from Kareem Eastman. Doesn't look like the kind of man that gives chances. Here's Junior Asun, the former Shiva boys man. Dick. Looking for Charles, well cut out. Ross Russell Jr. Oh, that's good. Couldn't find Asu, Tyrone Charles, and, but he has won a free kick. So the left back, he's always in attack. He wins a free kick for his team. Ross Russell Jr., of course, the son of former TNT international goalkeeper, Ross Russell Sr. Yeah, but Mirez uh, really should have get, got rid of the ball. He was holding on to it, running with it. And once you do that, you're going to run yourself into trouble. And uh, he realized Ross Russell Jr. was getting to the ball before him. And um, once that happened, um, he committed the foul. There's uh, the number four player, Mirez. And um, really and truly, the cardinal sin for any defender is to pick up your ball and run with it. There he is, he's going, running with it. Get rid of your ball. That's what he should have done. The first thing, get it, get it out of your defensive third. Well, he's really favoring that right leg. Ross Russell Jr. Not a good sign for them. Apart from Jamal Crichton, who's been rested this match, he's one of the few players that has not missed a match. So important to the attack of this team coming from deep and yeah, that's going to be a blow if uh, ross russell has to come off ross russell jr what if, what is good about him he links the defense with the attack and you know he gets up into that attack and he creates the extra player for rangers going forward so if he has to come off it's good it could really be a big blow for them all well, the good news as you can see like lazarus he has risen and uh, has a slight pop to his step. I can assure you he's not dancing the hip-hop beat. So Daniel David will stand over this free kick. He's got lots of options. Five red shirts in the area. And he goes at goal. Oh. Didn't quite get the coordinates right. Never did. Never really threatened. Never really threatened the keeper. Let's have a look at that. Uh, he pushed it too far ahead of him. And uh, Ross Russell Jr. took a real knock there. But thankfully, he's going to be coming back onto the field. Well, that's what he called in football a dead leg. Yeah. It's when you get that knee into your thigh, that hamstring area. It's very painful, but usually you can walk it off. But Mirez tried to run with the ball. He, he got possession and he pushed it, but he pushed it a little too far ahead of him. There's Mirez this time doing the correct thing. Well, he didn't find a, a teammate, but what he did is got it out of his defensive third and uh, let, uh, you know, sometimes as a defender, you've got to play as you've got to just get it away 
from your defense. Well defended by Javon Morris. Long in search of Tyrone Charles. Thought he might have been impeded. No whistle. That's a good ball to Shea Benny. Well, Benny looking for Poonanger on. That's well defended again, this time by Javon Morris. Well, Dick and Asun. Well, T Cass clearly wasn't working. Had a mid air collision. And uh, it's a free kick for AC Port of Spain. Well, must have had his signal scrambled. Oh, that's good. That's very good. Spears opening up here. That's good defending. Just cut out by Mirez. Excellent defending. And AC Port of Spain are away. It's a foot race and, uh, well, I tell you what, don't look at the size of Jevon Morris. He can keep up when he needs to, as was just proven. Sean De La Gusta's really powering his way towards goal, but as he found out, Javon Morris does have some pace about him. Caleb Stillage finds Daniel David in some space. Here's Real Gill. Too long for Ross Russell Jr. Aimless ball in the end, was it? That's a good, good distribution from Poon Lewis. Well, he's 1v1 here. He's got some space to make something happen. Oh, that's very good. Can he find a yellow shirt? He does, uh, but he didn't make clean connection. And, uh, well, that's the best chance that he got. He didn't cash in his ticket, though. Well, I think the defense should give the defender credit. He held him up. Sturge was the one, made life uncomfortable for Augustus. It was a good cross ball, let's face facts, a lovely cross ball, but Sturge uh, just got enough to put Augustus off. Let's have a look at that ball. Lovely cross ball, and there goes Augustus, but there goes Sturge, put him off. Never gave him the opportunity to get the shot away. Well, here he is, Augustus. All given away to Asun. He's taken out. It's a free kick. Junior Asun, part of that Shiba Boys team. That certainly delighted the secondary school's football league. Well, this is dangerous. But they somehow get it away, only partially though. Daniel David measures his mark and only finds the goalkeeper. the atmosphere it's tense at the moment little, dis Golders. little disappointed James with the crowd I would have thought they would have had many more people inside here this evening but um, certainly the crowd is a little bit disappointing she then he tried his luck kept alive by Mirage looks for Poonanga on can he keep it in yes he can a bit of a handball involved as was spotted by referee Cox Barry Sinclair starting this match he did come off in the last match injured has been rotated with Jabari Bryce for much of this tournament anywhere will do from Daniel David oh, that's that's confident for Mirash. Poonanger on. Looking for Augustus. 
Morris does well in the end, just saving it from going out for a corner. Well, if it's one thing, they don't look in one bit intimidated, AC Port of Spain. No, they certainly don't, and, and they're taking the game to Rangers. They've won a corner. Well, I think the referee has said it's a goal kick. Well, he, Caleb Stills was certainly protesting for that, as the ball has been taken to the corner flag. Goalkeeper Sedele has been tested. Aimed in at Tyrone Charles. Does get ahead, couldn't find a red shirt. That's a foul. Gee, Benny Mark. certainly hasn't really been involved much in the attack for AC Port of Spain. Well, he hasn't got the ball, has he? He's, uh, hasn't, he's really touched the ball here this evening. Even Poon Angeron, he's now getting possession and sends it to Benny. Benny tries to turn the needle. Couldn't get past Ross Russell Jr. Yes, Sadil McLean, fresh up scoring a hat trick against Maruga. Well, caught it out there. Saw a red light as he tried to go. It's away by Asun. Well, for a moment I thought I was witnessing an MMA match. Please continue. Oh, that's, that's sloppy. And Raymond is away. Outnumbered. Up. Looking for Augustus. He's a, he's a willing runner, isn't he? Augustus continually makes diagonal runs and um, certainly making the Looking openings for Poonang for his Can't get past Sturge. Uh, Augustus, uh, James, with his diagonal runs, and he's actually carrying the defenders with him and, and creating openings for the other players done well so far. Well, believe it or not, that gentleman you just saw in your picture was once a promising defender. Stephen Williams. A.K.A. E. Bison. Well, here's a chance from a set piece that is headed away by the centre forward, Tyrone Charles. It's well defended. Clean's pass is cut out. Real Gill has come across to the right side now for Rangers. Had, he hasn't had much of the, the play on the left side, so he's uh, shifted to the right. Very dangerous when he cuts in with that left foot. Well, lots of space here for Che Benny to exploit, but his pass is well cut out. He's looking for Augustus. Here's Asun. Well, if it's one thing about both teams, they've both got the legs and the youthfulness to run at each other. Well, he's lost that one, hasn't he? Maurice Dick. Nanger on pushing forward Augustus they're piling numbers forward sitting deep to the next Rangers inviting pressure anger on a yard of space maybe well cut out but he's looking for his fellow winger Asun couldn't find him and Benny taking everybody on Augustus a yard of space maybe and uh, easy for Sintelay in the end 
that was not a bad effort because Augustus was making room for himself. Went around the defender, just didn't get the power on the shot. But a good move from Shea Benny. And then the ball break into Augustus. Had the shot. But as I said, just didn't get the power behind it. Well, this is a foot race that Caleb Sturge has lost to Augustus, but he makes up well in the end. I'm looking at the position of Pungangaron, usually used as a pivot, deep lying midfielder. Yeah, he's, he's picked he, up a, a wide midfield role today, hasn't he? On the left side. Very interesting. Very much a touch player, isn't he? Picks up the ball, lays it off, gets back into position. He's a good runner off the ball as well. You can always find him. Stevens. Well, they haven't been allowed any momentum to the next Rangers. As the team in yellow from the capital, Port of Spain. They've been the ones that have created moments like this. Chance here. Oh, not wow. a bad effort. Well, That's not a bad effort at all I'm by McLean. I'm sure I heard some wind coming out of the pants of the goalkeeper, Sindele, as he looked at that, passing his far post. Well, I'm, I'm not sure if it's just wind, because that went mightily close. It was a good cross, and look at this from McLean. He hit it one time, and that could have easily nestled into the corner of the net. That was an excellent attempt by uh, McLean. Excellent. I tell you, they, this team has started to play very well, AC Port of Spain. They, they're not afraid to attack Rangers. They're using the width of the field, and they're getting the crosses in. Well, here's Gill trying to take on two. Loses that mathematics equation. Raymond will hustle and uh, well, doesn't well get it. It's a, yeah. it's a goal kick. The thing is, when you when you, you get the chance, James, against a team like Rangers, you've got to take your chance because they are such a quality team. When they get the opportunity, they're going to make you pay. Should be easy for Perez. Daniel David has his hands full in the middle as Charles looks for Raymond. And uh, good defending in the end from Eastman. Kareem Eastman. Excellent defending. He, he did well because that was dangerous. And it's the same point I made. You know. Rangers suddenly they can open up a defense and they can open you up and there uh, Eastman had to come back and, and he did a good job they, They're looking solid at the back at the moment um, AC Port of Spain and I like how they're moving the ball around well, Did well to hold on to possession They came up with Che Benny taken out and does win a free kick I think he might just have been trampled by the trailing leg in the end from Daniel David. And, and, and look at the one-time passes. They were just knocking that ball around really nicely. Shea Benny to Poonandarong, back to Shea Benny, flicked it on. I mean, it, it was a really wonderful, a wonderful display. There's goalkeeper Sadea, Sadea just uh, asking for a three-man wall. Let's look at this. One to, one to Poon Andron, to Shea Benny. Lovely bit of football uh, from AC Port of Spain. Now Shea Benny is lining up this. Well, if anybody can strike it from distance, it's that man, oh, Shea Benny. Wow. Just past, uh, just past the post. Well, some belly dance movement well, from that one as it zigged and it zagged. And, well, that man knows he's a lucky camper. James, I thought that was nestling into the corner, did it? Whoa! -ho! It couldn't pass any closer, could it? My word, Shea Benny, what a good effort. But you made the point, if anybody can hit from that distance and make the keeper scramble, it is Shea Benny. 
I remember Shea Benny um, playing for St. Anthony's against QRC. And uh, there was about two minutes to go. And they had two free kicks. And all of a sudden, the game ended 3 0. Shea Benny scored both. Phenomenal kicker of the ball with that left foot. Well, Sidel McLean might have been the star last weekend. But prior to that, Shea Benny's two goal got them their first win in a few matches as he tries to carve open some more space here. That coming against Real Westport, they were chilling 1-0. His two goals pulled them back in the contest and that broke a two-game losing streak for them. They will, they will do well to keep an eye on Shea Benny, Rangers. If they give him room, if they give him room, I tell you, he's going to make them pay. Well, they've got to do some defending though. As it's a deep throw. Asun touches heavy, but he keeps it alive. Looking for Charles. And uh, well, again, that man Eastman comes to the rescue. But they're allowing the ball to drop in some dangerous areas. AC for the spin. Got to be careful. Approaching the half hour mark in this match, it's still goal less. Surprise, surprise. And uh, well, I tell you what, the momentum has not been maybe where you were expecting. AC Port of Spain, they're, they're taking the game to Rangers and they're really playing excellent at the moment. But they've got to be Gaining careful. Augustus and again, Javon Morris gets in the way. Still alive though. A chance opening up here, but the flag goes up. Might have been offside. James, as I was making the point, they're playing very well. They're going forward nicely. They're knocking the ball around. They're creating a couple of chances, but they've got to be compact at the back. We, we've seen where Eastman have saved them on a couple of occasions. If they're not compact at the back and keep their shape, they can run into problems against this, uh, this Rangers team. And don't be surprised if it ends at half time goalless that there are about three changes from Rangers. That's their that's their their their, their DNA. Well they've certainly got these stocks. Take a look for yourself. Choose anyone. And you can't find a match winner, particularly that man to your right, Kadim Corbin. Already outlaying his plans, his teammates, Ike Andrews and company. There's Isaiah Lee as well on the bench. Mina, you're right. Take your pick. You can have any one of five that can go on and change this game. Well, just in case you're wondering what the delay was about, Jevon Morris was in some discomfort. He is off the field at the moment. Just made his way back on. Anger on and uh, would be Rangers to gather their thoughts. Well, they've certainly scouted far and wide to the next locket of Rangers. There are, well, this is dangerous looking. Styron Charles hustles them out of almost out of possession, and uh, well, try to get it anywhere. But only put it as far as McLean. He's got Augustus ahead of him. Punangaron in. Couldn't find any of them as his pass is cut out. Well, space opening up in the middle. And uh, at all right. An opportunity to go at goal. Couldn't find the accuracy. I was making the point that Rangers, they've scouted far and wide. They're a team in... East Trinidad, just about 4.5 kilometers away from the borough of Arima. But they've got players from all across the country. Gasparillo, Maruga, West Trinidad, Central. Oh, that was that was brilliant by Gill. And they've, they've got the homeboy Gill. The control by Gill was excellent. That was a difficult ball to bring out, to bring under control. Well, they're just trying to cool the tempo now. They did start at a pace. It's difficult to keep up this type of momentum. A 
Ariel Gill is off the field at the moment, receiving treatment. So they're shorter man at the moment as she Benny looks to open up some room. Here's McLean. Benny and uh, Junior Asun pulling his hatchet. To tell you, James, how AC Port of Spain have been putting Rangers under pressure. How many times in the last, say, 10 minutes have you seen Ross Russell going forward? Ross Russell has not been going forward at all. And, and we don't see that. It's another foul on Shea Benny. Now we saw him score from this angle. Oh, he scored from this angle in the pass. Can he do it again? Not this time. Trying to get rid of the attention of Gill and uh, ran out of real estate. Shot from yeah, distance. That was, that was ambitious. Kept his eyes on it as it flew overhead. And while well, Mirash is just part of everything, whether defending or having Hail Marys. He had some power, but just lacked. It didn't come down in time. Very ambitious. Here's Jay Benny. Lots of space between midfield and defense for him. That's a rough challenge on Sidel McLean. And, uh, but it's not a foul. I yeah, it is a foul. I thought I thought they deserved a card as well. But I'm looking McLean, at I tell you what, McLean was away. I'm looking at the geography of it because he pointed to the corner flag, and uh, it's, it's inside the area. And that's why I was, uh, I was asking the question. Well, I'm surprised if that is a corner, not a foul. Let's have a look. McLean was ahead of him. Oh, well, it could be just on. The well, I'm surprised that he's awarded a corner. That looked like a foul. And maybe, just maybe, he got most of the ball. And I don't know what you make of it, James, if you thought he got most of the ball. I thought he got uh, the man. He came from behind McLean. Let's have a look. You tell me he got, you tell me he got the ball there? James, you tell me he got the ball? Okay. Well, that's why, that's right, why they don't hire me in the VAR boot. <laughs> I don't know, Cox seems to think otherwise. But, uh, well, McLean limps off in pain as play continues with a throw near the corner flag. More danger could be had from this one. Comfortable. Well, I haven't said this much and I've uh, commentated in all but one Larkita Rangers match, but it's rare to see them in the attacking third. It's not something you say every day. But not much time spent there either. Well, here we go. Daniel David knocking on doors. Real Gill just took away the angle. Sturge joining in. And uh, well, he needed some more pace on that one to beat anybody. On the other end, it's Augustus who could be away. The flag is down. Easy for St. Hilaire. Just a little too long. Augustus made the run, but uh, just a little too long. 
Wallace Baxton forward at the moment, Tyrone Charles using his hand in the end. Seven minutes of regulation time remaining in the first half. Hold us. AC Port of Spain playing in the bright lights of La Hoqueta and certainly performing. They're starting to look very confident, aren't they? They're knocking the ball around. Um, you know, they, they have really dominated this first half. Rangers have gone, not that Rangers has not had the moments, they've had the moments, but in general, this AC Port of Spain team, really, they, they, they belie their, their position. They're looking a much better team than where they are in the standings. Well, they are high in confidence. Won their last two matches. Prior to that, they lost their last three. So they have found some form, just at the right time, you might, you might add. And strangely enough, Rangers at the moment, they're backing off of them and allowing them to have the ball in their half of the field. It's interesting. They're not putting them under pressure at all, look at them. They're just knocking the ball at the back. And the Rangers team is just standing up and looking at them and going from side to side. And AC Porter Spain just continue to keep possession. Sturge does well. Nick helps out and Morris sends it into the pavilion. Yeah. That's uh, not a good clearance from Morris. Big man at the back. just had a look at Dave Promina, the coach of Rangers, and he looks a very concerned man. But he did say prior to the match that he's not concerned. Well, I'm not sure he might answer the I, same I, if I ask him now. I tell you what, you if you ask him that question now, he wouldn't say that. Look at him. He is not happy at all with the performance so far. Started his coaching credits with the U teams of Northeast Stars. And well, quite coincidentally, AC Port of Spain was formerly Northeast Stars. So he does know a lot of the youth players who since made his name with Terminex Rangers since taking over as head coach at the senior level. Look, look at the time that the guys at the back have from AC Port of Spain. Contrary, Rangers might say, well, they can keep it if they keep it in their third. That's a way by Perez. And in contrast, the Rangers defenders are just banging the ball upfield. I'm, I must admit, I'm really surprised uh, at the performance of AC Port of Spain. I think Ross Russell Jr. in particular, he's entered the Rangers half in the last 20 minutes about two times. It's, it's really amazing what is happening here. God, it's like a chess match for that man. And at the moment, he feels confident. He has Raymond to kill. Well, unconventional, but it did the trick as Benny is cute and he finds McLean. He's in a foot race against Ross Jr. This could be his offside. Busters and the flag brings his joy to an end. But that was a warning shot. What a ball from Shea Benny do. I think, and McLean just, he couldn't get control of it to play it off to Augustus, who had made the run. And uh, he had to hold on a little while. And in the meantime, Augustus did not check his run. And so by the time the ball was played to him, he was offside. That's another good ball from Poonanjaron. Let's have a look at it. He looked up. That is when he should have played the ball. He looked up and he saw Augustus 
he held on too long. It should have been, as he picked up the ball, he turned with it. It should have been a one-time ball to Augustus. He held on, he ran with it, and, and the chance was lost. Inside the final two of regulation time, still bonus. Rangers in red. Tell you what, you're going to get about three changes in this at the start of the second half. Well, maybe here, Nibor. chance opening up, and St. Hilaire has a fist of steel to deny him. Good shot, not a bad effort. The angle was against him, but he got it on target. Here they come again. Here's Real Gill. Looking for Tyrone Charles, the skipper, this evening. Oh, that's good for Miresh. He's so confident coming out of the back, the number four. But he's lost it, and uh, well, there's space left by his positioning. It's Tyrone Charles take a run at them. That's good, that's good from Eastman. Oh, that's good. That's very good. Caleb Sturge keeps it alive. Yes, Ross Jr. getting forward. Oh, that's a good Ooh, tackle to take it away from him. Tackle again. And the break is on the other end to Che Benny. 3v3, 3v3. Lots of space to exploit here. They're chasing back. Good interception. And uh, Sintel there good. in the end. Paul's the danger. Really enjoying this game now, James. It's opening up. He has Real Gill. Chance is opening up as we this wind down to 45 man. minutes and he's gone for the far post. And well, last week we saw him put that in the far corner. Well, this week, gravity not really on his side. That's the danger man, Real Gill. He's always dangerous coming in from the right and on his left foot. But I was making the point, let's have a look at him. He look, he's going inside, he's going inside, has the shot, just didn't get over it. He was going for the top corner, but uh, he just didn't get over it. But as I was saying to you, I expect Rangers to make about three changes. There's one minute of added on time, signaled by the fourth official. But I expect at least three changes at the start of the second half. Because... Well, here comes the AC Dave, Port of Spain. Dave Komina is not going to put up with this display going into the second half. So we're into the one minute of time that was added. And uh, still goal us. Not many would have predicted this. But that's the game of football. Who said cricket was the game of glorious uncertainties? Is there one last bit of action in the first half? Well, the whistle of referee Cock signaled that 45 minutes is up, and it's a 45 minutes where both teams have failed to trouble the goalkeepers. And at halftime, it is AC Port of Spain nil. Terminex Rangers nil. So there it is, half time. It's goalless at the moment between Terminix La Hoketa Rangers and AC Port of Spain. A goalless half, but a half full of action and a half that was really dominated by AC Port of Spain. Surprisingly enough, they've taken the game to the league leaders and uh, they had a couple chances to put the ball into the back of the net. They did not take it, and who knows? They could very much. Uh, they can very much pay for that. When you don't take your chances against a team of the quality of Rangers, you're sometimes made to pay. But um, it's been a really good half at the moment. So we have the half. It's a Rangers nil and AC Port of Spain nil. We're going to take a break. Friend Maritime Limited, the best in marina services. At our facilities, security checks ensures that all vehicles are secured. Our newly renovated bathrooms are always kept in a clean working order. 
Need repairs and maintenance? We have you covered. Our qualified workmen will get the job done. Boat storages. From our marina, you can easily push off for a family sailing trip. Or out fishing with the boys. Fun DDI experience with friends. Welcome back here to the La Hoqueta Recreation Ground. We're at the half. It's uh, Terminex Rangers, La Hoqueta Rangers nil, AC Porter Spain nil. Let's have a look at the highlights of the first half. Well, it started well for Terminix Rangers because they put um, the AC Porter Spain team under some pressure and um, the shot here uh, was well, was blocked off and uh, eventually it was a corner. But after that, AC Porter Spain really took control of this game and uh, the shot was just on the side netting by McLean. And uh, then Rangers, they had a chance as that ball was played infield, the header was a looping one and goalkeeper Poon Lois just had to push it over the bar. Then AC Porter Spain, McLean to Shea Benny. There is Shea Benny, he's trying to get around the defense, sent it over, the chance came to Augustus, but that was great, good defending um, and just stopped him there. And then the shot is saved by Poon Lois. Ball coming across, and there was the shot, just missing by McLean. It just missed the far post. That could so easily have nestled in. And then Benny with a shot. That also, oh boy, that could have so easily nestled into the corner of the net. Two real um, opportunities there. And here goes Benny again. Good ball through. And the shot comes from Augustus. That's a good save from St. Hilaire. And Real Gill with probably the final shot of the game just over the bar, the final shot of the first half, just going over the bar. Let's have a look at the uh, stats of the uh, first half here between these uh, two teams. And you would find that AC Porter Spain has dominated seven shots to four. Shots on target, just uh, two all. And when you go through the rest of the, the stats, three corners to one, two saves each, but still, Possession-wise, AC Porter Spain had the better of the first half. Let's head down to James. He's got an interview with the tournament director, Kieran Edwards. Well, that's right. It's halftime in this match. And, it, well, it's halftime pretty much in the Ascension tournament. We're at wrong nine. Who would have imagined getting to wrong nine? What's the feeling like halfway through the tournament? Um, it's, it's, it's a relief. Um, it's been hectic. Um, but excited and, and it's it's something to look forward for the second rounds of the tournament. I'm really excited about the second rounds of the tournament. Well, this tournament pretty much broke the barrier coming out after two years of inactivity, no football. Are you surprised at the quality of the football that the tournament has been able to produce? Um, I'm, I'm not surprised with the, 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 the quality. Um, I was excited about the amount of goals. We're talking about 100 and before this match round, we're talking 163 goals in 40 games. Um, that was really exciting. That surprised me a bit guys coming out of a two-year break with the pandemic arm. So that was the really the only surprise. But I think in Trinidad here, we have quality players and it's expected that we'll see quality football. Well, you don't have to keep your ears to the ground to hear what the streets are saying and the attendance has been a big talking point about this competition. Is that a surprise for you as well? Um, no, that's something we really, we really get to do um, in terms of mixing entertainment with, with sports. And we, we know football is a, a business and it's entertainment. So we really wanted to showcase the entertainment, the local culture, um, the dancers, the cheerleaders, the artists, um, rhythm section. So it was expected that numbers would come out after the pandemic to really enter, to entertain themselves and, and really 
being engaged with the football and, and the package that we put forward. I'm hearing talk about money, teams receiving some money. Uh, <laughs> you want to share some of that information, yeah, yeah, yeah. what's going on there? That's, that's the hot topic um, right now. We, we gave 250000 to all the teams in terms of our parents' fee. Um, in the first tournament, we, we, we did 190000 there about in terms of our parents' fee. We upped it a bit. Um, it wasn't carded to be given um, in this tournament because we would have put out um, more in terms of the production and getting it on television, having all the games aired. Um, but the overwhelming support by the, by the supporters and, and persons coming to the games, we would have received some hefty gates. You, you would have seen it. Um, upwards of, of 3,000 persons coming to, to some of the games. Um, and we, we really passed on that with the teams in terms of giving them our parents fee. And it was so much that we would have been able to up from the first year. So we gave 25,000 to each team. Um, and we're hoping to, to, to even do more in the future. And I'm sure the obvious question now is, what can we expect moving forward with the Ascension tournament? Is this going to be expanded? What's going to be happening next? Well, well, the, the initial framework of the Ascension tournament was supposed to be played with over 92 teams, um, a first division and a third division, um, with a second division, with all the zones. Um, so next year, we are looking, hoping to, to have that kick off in that kind of manner. Um, we're also hoping to bring in the international teams, um, regional teams from the winners from Jamaica, from Barbados, from St. Vincent, bringing them down here to play maybe the top three teams from the tournament and have that kind of wrong robin. So we'll really get a, a champion of the Caribbean. So you'll have that bragging rights in terms of the Ascension tournament in the future. Well, you got it right here, exclusive. And uh, I know you're a busy man, so we thank you for taking your time to chat with us. Always a pleasure chatting with Sportsmax and, and TV6, the viewers on TV6 as well. Um, I think it's a, a very good job all you guys are doing in terms of airing the games and the quality of, of production from the, from the sports team. I must commend the team for doing that and um, it's a pleasure we hope to grow in the future. Thank you very much Mr. Edwards. The situation we have here is that these characters, and I refer to them as pests, right? What they are doing is destroying our country, but not on my watch. No street, no turf, no block shall belong to these cockroaches, right? It's no longer business as usual. Happy hour is over. If they don't fear God, at least they will fear Terminix. Have you considered how your methods could impact on pests across your country? <laughs> I find we look after the rights of pests as opposed to the rights of the 1.3 million law-abiding citizens in Trinidad and Tobago. I wonder if Roach Ladenstown come here for the carnival if, if you'll interview me. But how can you defend one shot, one kill? What? You want me to throw a pillow at him? I didn't say that. No, well, if a roach jumps in front of you now, what will you do? Run. Oh, Jesus, Lord Father. <laughs> pests bothering you? Call Terminix at 672-5007 or 672-0042 or visit our website at terminix.co.tt for a free quote and consultation. Join our fight against pests. Lasso Frame Maritime Limited, the best in marina services. Our facilities, security checks ensures that all vehicles are secured. Our newly renovated bathrooms are always kept in a clean working order. Need repairs and maintenance? We have you covered. Our qualified workmen will get the job done. Boat storages. From our marina, you can easily push off for a family sailing trip. Or out fishing with the boys. A 
fun DDI experience with friends. camera and let there be action at the Lahogata Recreation Ground. 45 minutes will decide if this match will have a winner. At the moment, Terminex Lahogata Rangers, they are goalless against AC Port of Spain. Welcome back to the action. James Saunders is my name, Colin Murray alongside me. As uh, we summarize the first half action, it's a first half that has ebbed, that has flowed. And quite surprisingly to many, AC Port of Spain have been the dominant team. Definitely the dominant team. Look at them, full of confidence. They're bouncing. They can't wait for second half action. No, we have to wait and see, James. I, 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 I made the point that the coach of Rangers would not tolerate what happened in that first half and is going to make changes. I want to see just how many changes he's made. Look, I'm seeing one already. Kadim number nine. Kadim Corbin. Kadim Corbin, that's one. Jamal Crichton, the captain. I, I, that's two. Isaiah, Isaiah Lee. That's three. So it's so predictable. He was not going to see how AC Port of Spain outplayed his team and send back that same 11 onto the field. So he's made three changes immediately with those, uh, with those three to come on. Those are the three men. So the three changes, Kadim Corbin, um, Isaiah Lee, and uh, Jamal Crichton. J Jamal Crichton. So it was so predictable. He was hurting. You saw him on the sideline. He was shouting instructions. And look at those three. And, and that's the quality. We talked about Rangers. They will make a difference to this uh, Rangers team. And we'll just have to see how will AC Porter Spain deal with these three substitutions. Most certainly. So. Nikolai Nairon in charge of this one. Correction for the earlier we, we information. Just, James, I'm not too sure who the, who the trio came on for. Uh, we, we need to get that information as to who they came on for. Who, who was the substitution? But I'll tell you what, uh, Isaiah Raymond is out. So to Maurice Dick. Maurice so Dick is out. Isaiah Raymond is out as well. And Tyrone Charles. And the captain. Yeah. Well, Jesus Perez has his hands full early on. I, I, I really like Augustus up front. He's a real hustler, isn't he? Yes, Gil gets out of trouble. Crichton certainly missed his presence in the first half. It's the first match that he's been rested, and well, they had to call him in, call him 45 minutes later. She Benny going for goal again. Sturge, high into the night sky. The battle for this. Finally away. Only as far as the East Sea Port of Spain. Goes in search of Augustus. Finds him. That's a good touch. Excellent. Yes, Sadil McLean. Shaquille Edwards. But it's more of the same at the start of the second half. They look assured and confident in possession. It's looking for space and opportunity to hurt the team in red. It's long and too long for anybody. And it's an uh, easy one for St. Hilaire. Kadeem Corbin, goes the ground, nothing wrong spotted by Nikolai Nairon. He has Maresh. Well, Kadeem Corbin 
is still on the ground as we have confirmation of the changes. Isaiah Raymond making way for his namesake, Isaiah Lee. Maurice Dick comes out as Jamal Crichton, the skipper, is inserted. And Tyrone Charles, the captain, well, he has been replaced by Kadeem Corbin. Well, Kadeem Corbin, the, well, we, sp we spoke about the rotation and we spoke about the strengths of these teams. Kadeem Corbin, one of the leading scorers in the tournament, makes his way off the bench. Corbin has been at the forefront of what they've scored. Isaiah Lee has been the top scorer for Larkata Rangers and he's just come off the bench as well. He has five goals in the tournament. Corbin three together with Junior Asun and Atula Guerra who isn't playing. And uh, guess who's in that list as well? The defender, Ross Russell Jr. Oh, that's interesting. I, 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 I watched you because I wasn't sure that uh, Ross Russell was up there. But he hasn't. We have not seen really any attacking forward movement from Ross Russell. Maybe, maybe three or four times. But he's been so concentrating on McLean and defense. Sturge helps out in defense and uh, well he gives away a corner they're certainly not themselves tonight are they a against Canupia they dominated and, and it was really David the goalkeeper for Canupia who saved them here tonight how many saves has Spoon Lois got well this is not going to be one of them well the break is on it's one of their trademark breaks. Well, a bit of a hurdle there from that man in the far end of your screen. But there's been a collision. Yeah. And uh, Jamal Crichton, he's just come on, but yeah. he's Head. already feeling the hurt. And uh, he's collided with the man next to him, Maurice Ford. And the referee had to stop it because it's um, a head collision. Both men, I think, went up to head the ball. And the referee didn't pick it up early. Is that Augustus? Well, Maurice Ford is a player, but yeah. the collision, former national youth player, Maurice Ford. Hasn't gotten in his senior career off to the kind of start that he'd have liked after such a promising youth career. But he has an opportunity now with AC Port of Spain and he's taking advantage as he gets back on his feet. Thankfully, both of them, both of them are up now, so that's good news. Well, it happened so quickly. Yeah. The play has been restarted. Rangers nil, AC Porter Spain nil after 50 minutes. Would you have predicted that, James? Well. Not many would have. I'm not great at predictions, and it's a good thing I didn't. I would have continued that trend. That's dangerous, dangerous. Well, here's Kadeem Corbin. Oh, he's going wrong, the keeper. And, and just like that. Kadeem Corbin, against the run of play, has done what his teammates have failed to do for 50 minutes as he puts Timonex Lock at the Rangers, one nil ahead against AC Port of Spain. And, and, and look at the hustle. They caused the problems at the back for AC Port of Spain. They gave away the ball and the change has already, the substitutions have already made a difference. Let's have a look at the hustle. The ball, they were knocking the ball around, trying to play it, and the through ball to Corbin goes wrong the keeper and into the back of the net. Easy as you would like. And that's the quality of this Rangers team. But more so with the substitutions that have been made, makes life easy. Well, thank you to you, sir, providing the first goal of the match. So 1 0 to the next Larkata Rangers taking the lead against AC Port of Spain. Kadim Corbin getting goal number four of the tournament for him. And it's a goal he will remember. How well, a man that scores at the, the, the crucial moments in matches. And how well he took it, didn't he? Never, never panicked. Making a reputation for himself. Here's Junior Asun looking to make one for himself. 
Oh, that's a dangerous Corbin deflected. And oh, somehow, some way, that did not go in the net. Mightn't have counted. But Kareem Corbin, well, he's not knocking anymore. He's hopping and he's puffing. And the door almost blew open. AC Port of Spain, I think they're, they're not too sure what, what hit them. There's Asun with the cross ball and uh, the shot just... Uh, don't think there was a deflection. Went straight over, did it? Yeah. I think what uh, saved them is the fact that uh, might have been offside. Yeah, that, that's as well. I thought the flag went up. Well, just like that, they're feeling the pressure. AC Port of Spain. After a promising first period, they find themselves trailing. Maybe this man has other ideas. McLean against Ross Russell. And, uh, well, it's fair to say, Ross Russell won that battle quite easily. I think he was trying to play it off of him for a corner. But the thing is, Rangers are putting AC Port of Spain now under some pressure, and they're starting to make mistakes, especially at the back. Yal Gil, oh, it's a party. Oh, goodness me. I tell you what, it's not Independence Day, but the oohs and ahs are oozing from the pavilion. Sports marks that moment, maybe? I don't know. Caribbean fans certainly love party tricks. Well, here's the goal scorer, Kadeem Corbin. Morez. As a handful trying to keep him open. Oh, well, he didn't make the contact and he tried, well. but the contact has been made. That's it. And they've gone for Daniel David to do the job, and he's done it. 2 0. But what a ball at the back. A brilliant cross ball. And you would have thought, you would have thought, real. Look at this ball. Just let's have a look at it. Brilliant ball to the far post. In comes the man there, Real Gill, who you would have thought would have put it into the back of the net. But Daniel David did the trick. Well, he had the composure of a statue, Daniel David, as he made the goalkeeper a statue and made it 2-0. And Kadeem Corbin, what an impact he's had since coming on. Scoring a goal, assisting another. And just like that, it's 2-0 to the oh. next Rangers. But the, the beauty of that cross ball was absolutely brilliant. It was pinpoint to the far post. All Real Gid had to do was to touch it and he would have scored. And, and I, you know, if there's anybody you would have wanted that ball go to was Real Gil. Well, here's Corbin again. Well, if I were a defender, I'd be pulling the blankets over my face. It's a nightmare anytime he touches it. But James, just look at the, the difference these substitutes have made to this Rangers team. It's like, I mean, it's, it's chalk and cheese, isn't it? And uh, just to think that Atula Guerra is not in the squad. Ike Manjus is on the bench. Leslie Russell is on the bench. Oh. Yeah. Well, I think they're going to make two more substitutions, no doubt. But these players are players that can start on almost any team. They've got the treasure chest. The next Rangers. But I think AC Port of Spain at the moment, they're shell shocked. They're not too sure what's happening. Look at Corbin. Look at Corbin. My word. He's just playing. He's toying with him. Oh, wonderful. And then the cross with his weaker foot. And look at Real Gil. At the far post, you could not. James, you would have scored that. It was. I mean, you could not have asked for a more a pinpoint cross. It was excellent. Well, that's the kind of service that you normally tip if you're in a restaurant. And, uh, well, he's delivered with excellence. <laughs> well, they'll be glad uh, to get an opportunity to rest as Sidil McLean goes to ground. That's a good ball, but uh, 
Oh, Augustus does well. Not clean. Unanderon trying to flick it there to Augustus. That would have been a good move and had it come off. Well, just like that, as quickly as the Northeast trade wins. There they go they again. This is the Isaiah gun. Lee. And Lee, well, I tell you what, he's, he's joined the party, pulling out tricks of his own. And what about Crichton? Almost joined the goal scoring club as well. Well, the fans are coming to life. The players, they've turned on the ignition. Well, they're driving a different car. They, they, they have moved from, 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 from your car, James, to a Mercedes Benz. I mean, it's, it's incredible, the difference. Buckle up. The action is but, getting quicker and quicker. Or, or our producer, he drives a Tida. You know what I mean? Our director drives a, a, a Tida. And then the Rangers have moved to, to a Mercedes Benz. It's really chalk and cheese. It's if you came in and saw the first half, and uh, then you looked at the second half, you would have thought that this is not the same team. And just just the point of three substitutions, the difference they have made. If anybody can make a difference in the yellow shirt, it's J. Benny. Yeah, you, you've got to think they need to pull a goal back in, within the next 10 minutes to, to stand a chance. But the way it's going, they could fall behind, which at 3-0, they will have absolutely no chance. Well, here's McLean. Well, he's not going to add to his goal-scoring streak with shots like that. He scored a hat-trick last week. They need him to get that amount again if they are to get back in contention for three points in this match. There goes Corbin. Oh, he's so quick. He's got the moves like Jagger. Not this time. Sturge. Isaiah Lee now. They're all, they're all chiming in and having a go. And AC Porter Spain. Look at the hustle now. Merez gets out of traffic and Sturge does well to come back and avert the danger. Well, they're calling on some reinforcements. I'm not surprised. They need to because they're being overwhelmed. Seeing former national youth player Jaden Prowell gearing up to come in. He's been on duty in college. He's back home and I think his hometown needs him at the moment. Shea Benny has to come all the way back in his own half to pick up that ball. But that's a good ball. Paul Sturge there had good awareness to know exactly where St. Hilaire was. Oh, that's a heavy touch from Gill and gives away a throw to AC Port of Spain and maybe a chance to make some changes as Jaden Prowell is set to come in. Kyle Bartholomew is also being lined up. Jaden Prowell spent his last two seasons in college in the US. He's been a late addition to this team and if anybody can help score goals, he can. So he's out and Augustus will be the man that is being replaced and Bartholomew will come in for Charles, Anthony Charles. So the two changes made by AC Port of Spain and the message is clear. They want goals. They have to. They've got to get goals. That's that's the only way. That's the only way they'll have a chance. They've got to score and they've got they've got to pull one back, as I said, very quickly. Is the confirmation of the substitution. 
Well, he's only been with the team for just about three matches and he's already gotten one goal, Jaden Prowell. But don't look away. He can score goals. He's a big, tall man, isn't he, as well? He's got a lot of height. And uh, he can certainly push the defenders around. Here's Jamal Crichton. Kadeem Corbin loses to Merez. Oh, they've given it away in a bad area. Maybe a bit of handball and uh, well spotted in the end. The referee, the referee saw it. And you can see Corbin a little upset with himself that, um, because he knew they were away. Benny That's in search of, well, he was in search of anything hopeful. It was but none of it there. Far too straight. Well, he's had a tough night, but he didn't get goals, and uh, unfortunately, reinforcements have been added. Perez loses it to Crichton. Yes, Gill. Ross Russell Jr. getting forward, but couldn't pick out anybody in a dangerous area. I wonder what team they're supporting. Maybe the jersey just gave it away. Bartholomew. Looking for Benny. Well, it's a bad giveaway, but he wins back possession, loses it to Crichton. And they're just piling numbers forward. against Crichton. You've got to give coach Dave Common uh, lots of kudos because uh, he didn't wait. A lot of coaches sometimes wait for 10, 15 minutes into the second half to make changes. He realized that his team was being outplayed, outmaneuvered, and um, he decided enough was enough. Gil will keep this alive. He's got options. Junior. O offside. And uh, while well, the flag goes up. There's coach Dave Kwamina. What a difference a few changes can make for him and his team. But it was, it was predictable though, James. Very much predictable because his team. That's brilliant from Oh, Jay that's Benny. a good save. Oh. And uh, what I told you about Jay Benny, Bartholomew can keep it alive. A chance. What vision, what vision of Shea Benny. He, this was not a cross. He saw the goalkeeper off his line and he tried to chip him. Watch it. He looked up, he saw the keeper and he tried to chip him into that far corner. But it's a, a brilliant save, absolutely brilliant. Well, anybody who looked at the Futsal Championship where Trinidad and Tobago participated would have remembered him scoring from the other end of the field. <laughs> it's not foreign to him. That to me was the goal of the tournament, even though Trinidad didn't uh, reach too far. Well, here's another oh, chance. Whoa. Just wide. Whiskers away. They're coming closer. And uh, again, no surprise, it's Kareem Corbin. It's real L10 action here. It's been a good game, hasn't it? Been a very good game. It certainly has been. Here's Benny. He's got help. And they've brilliant. got goals. Absolutely brilliant. Pinpoint, they found the donkey's tail. McLean, was it? And Sidale McLean, while well, his goal scoring streak continues, as he's got an AC Port of Spain back into the contest. And what a goal that was. How crucial would it prove to be? Well, we've got a few minutes to tell. Well, they've still got, what, about 24 minutes and added on time to get back into this game. What a good goal.
and Benny at the heart of it again. Look, and took it one. He went left, cut back on his right foot, and nestled it into the far corner. Brilliant goal by McLean, and well made there, or well assisted by Shea Benny. Shea Benny, every time he picks up the ball, he's running at these defenders, and he's carving, creating openings for his fellow players. Brilliant work by Benny, but a super goal from McLean, excellent goal. He picked the spot, didn't he? Into the far corner, James. Excellent, really good football. I, I was making the point. This has been a really good encounter. Let's look at it, look at Benny running on them. And then they would, they started to come to Benny with a tackle. He just sent it to McLean. And McLean looked up and put it into the corner of the net. Excellent goal from AC Porter Spain. Well, it's not the first time that they've come from behind. Certainly started there. They broke their losing streak, their three game losing streak with a come from behind. 2 1 victory. Two match weeks ago. And well, they're in a position to do the same if they can get another. And it's all been those two players in your screen that you saw a while earlier Sidiel McLean and Che Benny. Well, when they combine, it's like Captain Planet. With, with that, it seems that Andrews is going to come onto the field, so Dave Kwamina is making a couple more changes. Well, when you've got ammunition, why not shoot? Ikeem Andrews, Jamal Francois are the players set to come in. Both of them with national youth pedigree. Both of them having represented Trinidad and Tobago at youth level. So Sturge, a defender, will come off and that man junior asun he will say goodbye to everyone to be replaced by ike manjus well they're called rangers but they're bringing out the arsenal at the moment who was it that said you don't fight fire with fire the equipment i didn't listen to that So Caleb Sturge will make his way off the wing back and Ike Manjus. He's a Caribbean Cup winner with Trinidad and Tobago under 20. And his quality has been summoned. Yes, Gil. A man who has been called to Trinidad and Tobago, Daniel David. And easy in the end for Poon Lewis. Gill finding Andrews, he gets his first touch. Injury has kept him out of much of this tournament, but he is quality. Oh, they almost learned that the hard way, didn't they? Finally, the danger is cleared. But Bartholomew, he's just come on, has his work cut out for him. So to that man, Francois, barely a minute on the field. What a match. 20 minutes to go on you. You just wish we were starting over. Well, and it could end, it could end any, any way. It could be Rangers, AC Porter Spain, a draw. This is the quality of this game. Angeron has gone back into the midfield, so he's trying to create stuff. He's moved from that uh, left wing position, he occupied the left sided midfield position, and he's now gone into the heart of the midfield, trying to create problems for Rangers. Andrews linking up well with Corbin, and uh, that one is cut out. Daniel David tried to push forward. Yes, Poon Angeron. TNT Senior International. He's got to show his quality now, you feel. This is good. This is good from AC Porter Spain. They keep in possession at the moment. Marez gets it wide. Bartholomew. Clever. Trying to pick out gaps and they find one. 
Jay Ben, he's touch. Goes to McLean. Scored one already from that angle. And maybe another. Not this time. It came close, though. Well, it was the other. This time, McLean was trying to be give the assist to Shea Benny. And uh, Shea Benny, the header was just wide. But McLean has gone over to that left side and he's creating havoc. AC Porter Spain slowly but surely getting back into this game. Well, we can just feel the every beat of the drum urging on the home team. They're wearing red and they want blood. That's right. That's, that's In well. for Francois. Corbin will do well to keep it up and Francois shot. Well, he had the right idea, the wrong execution. There's, there's Francois. He's uh, come on the field as a substitute and he's doing well. Coral. Ran out of space. He was pleading for a foul on that occasion. Won't get it. Should be cut out. Wall broken up by Isaiah Lee. Yeah, he gave it away, didn't he? Well, he's won it back. Ross Jr. Daniel David. He's a player that I like, Daniel David. He's come into a squad packed with midfield talent and has been able to cement his spot pretty much, although he has been rotated, but he does look very comfortable anytime he gets in. Javon Morris away. Only as far as I can manage. He's won a throw. Fifteen minutes remaining in this match. How will the cookie crumble? Till the next Rangers, they have an advantage, leading 2-1. And here's Gill, maybe to add to that. Ball in the area! Oh, goodness me! How did that right leg reach out there? I guess you've got to ask the man that got there. He doesn't know the answer. He, he thought he had another one. There was Real Gill taking on the defender, getting to the byline. And here goes uh, Kadim Corbin and thinking he put it into the back of the net and uh, it was well blocked. Excellent, a bit of defensive work. Well, that man uh, almost came close to putting in one himself. You're on to Prowell. Well, the return is not of high quality as Crichton comes away with it. Daniel David, Ike Andrews. He suffered at hand some troubles, but it doesn't seem to affect him right now. Wow, fortune favors the brave, and uh, well, he almost got some of that fortune. What a match, what an atmosphere. The only what we can't answer 
what will be the final result? Yes, Gil. And, uh, well... That's going to be a card for Bartholomew, no doubt. If you can't stop him with tackles, you got to use your hand. And that's exactly what Bartholomew did. Well, he had to stop him. He took one for the team because Gil, Gil was away. He did it. Gil took control of that ball, was away from Bart Bartholomew, and he just pulled him down. There's Real Gil. And the man who's got the card, Kyle Bartholomew. But if that didn't work, got to have a roadblock. He's that hard to stop. Corbin, he's been the game changer so far. Goal and assist. Maybe another assist here. Good looking service. Could be anybody's ball in red. Kept alive by Ikim, but it goes out for the corner. That was another good cross ball from um, Kadeem Corbin. He's really come on to feel and made such a huge difference to this Rangers attack. Tell you what, if he decides to to not be a footballer tomorrow. He can certainly work TD Post because he delivers. Well, almost delivered a goal as well. What a save from Poon Lewis. Maybe more. The anticipation certainly is there. And, uh, well, Bartholomew's boot gets it away. I came Andrews, he can deliver good service, it's not this time. The yellow card for Kyle Bartholomew, just the confirmation of that yellow card, Kyle Bartholomew, who actually came on as a substitute. Well, we are approaching the final 10 minutes of the match. This 10 minutes, it's gonna feel like a test match innings, I tell you that. It's gonna be a tense one. Oh, that's good from T. Benny. Got the abracadabra. Ross Russell Jr. had to come around to help. He's done so much defending tonight, Ross Russell Jr. This, this game is the first game I've seen him defend so much and not go into attack. Looking for Benny. Punanjaron puts it back in the mix. Prowell to tussle. And, uh, well, he's been muscled out of it, and it'll be a goal kick. Shea Benny was, Shea Benny was standing all alone, but couldn't get it. Here is the Sportsmax app moment. Well, I tell you what, he might as well be a silkworm chill, Benny. And that man, Junior Asun, because that is as smooth as they come. There we go. He has a hat. He has another one. Ole, ola. Sports marks that moment. Robin. Outside. Well, he turned the keeper into Superman. But the flag came up late but he let the man know what he can do and uh, he didn't disappoint Poon Lewis that's an 80 of this match nobody taking chances Benny they need some more from him he's given a lot but they they want more here's Merez Trying to find some space for himself. Keeps That's it alive. Well yeah, he did well. He was under a lot of pressure. Looking for Porrell. Yes, Ross Jr. 
They're charging forward in numbers. He's got Real Gil to the outside of him. He's got options. Here's Daniel David. IK Manjus. On. Well, that was as close as they come. They're lucky. Just nobody was able to get on to the end of it. But a really a good cross there. And uh, Poon Lois couldn't do very much because it was hit with power in front of him. He couldn't get out to save it. And uh, luckily no forward came in to put it into the back of the net. Well, I'll tell you something about Ike Manjus for those unfamiliar with him. That's the man in possession at the moment. In that under-20 team that won the Caribbean Cup in 2014, he was in fact the star player. He was the star of the team until one Levi Garcia took over. So that's the quality of the man, Ike Manjus. So he's certainly not a player short of quality. Has gotten a couple of caps at the senior level. Yet to cement his place. Now speaking of caps, that's a man who has four under 20 caps, played at the under 20 championship in 2018. Jaden Prowell, he scored one goal in that championship. So lots of quality on the field at the moment. Marez trying his quality. Well, it's, it's the second time we've seen him going forward and um, has taken a shot high over the bar. He's not getting over the ball, he's just kicking it uh, as if he's clearing it. And he's got it. If you're going to go for goal from that distance, you've got to go over, you've got to get over the ball to keep it down. Well, they've got a congress of minds. Do you think they're worried? Do you think they're a little concerned? Yeah, he's because always going to be concerned. At 2 1, you have to be. It just takes one one mistake or one piece of brilliance on their back level. Six and a half remaining as well. That's going to feel like a long time. Yes, Corbin. Oh, he's oh. gliding at the moment. Lee. Gil. Having fun, aren't they? Yes, Gil. And well, didn't get his measurement right, but he had the right idea. He does get a corner. Uh, has five goals in the competition. The joint leading scorer for our Hockey Rangers with five. Tyrone Charles, the other player. Looking for a red shirt. Finds one. And uh, well, his shot couldn't pass the yellow. Coral to chase, should win the split race with Jesus Perez. He's got to look up, that's, oh, that's the ball. ball, that's the ball. Yes, Cyril McLean. Oh, that's a good, and, uh, good, well, good save from uh, I'm not Sindelea. sure that was a poor touch or a good save, but nonetheless, it didn't go in the goal. That was excellent football again on the part of AC Porter Spain. Andrews, well, look at him go. And look at that pass, the flag is down. It comes up now though. And uh, well, I tell you, somebody's heart stopped for a moment, and it wasn't somebody in red. But look, the, the action, James, at one end, Rangers, uh, sorry, at one end, AC Porter Spade could have scored, and, the, and right away, the attack, dunk. Let's have a look. The beauty of a ball from Shea Benny again. And you could see McLean all alone on why he sends it to him. That should have maybe, it was just behind him. Or else he could have gone on and hit it with the right foot. But it was just behind him. He had to try to bring it under control with his left foot. And when he brought it under control, it gave Sedillier the time to come out and tackle him. But that's the problem. It was, had it been just in front of him, it would have been too old. And look, offside. But there goes Corbin, and uh, he receives the ball. Yeah, Jamal Francois just showing offside. Well, Corbin, he's all about business. He doesn't care if the flag went up. He likes to hit the net. Well, that man, though, he's going to get some ice and some H2O treatment. Yep, he clashed with Corbin. But this has been a very, very entertaining game. It's been an excellent game. And that, that 
ball from Crowell was just slightly behind um, McLean. Yeah, but I think, I think that McLean perhaps... Uh, well, he had to get it. He had to bring it under control I think his with touch, his left foot. His touch took it away from him somewhat. Maybe, well, maybe he could have gone first time as well. Yeah, it could have gone first time, but I thought the ball was running away from him. So he, so he had to take it with his left foot and bring it back onto his right foot. No doubt. Well, they say chances give you an opportunity to win. Certainly had one to put his team in a position to win. Didn't take it. Shea Benny with the free kick. Well, they're showing numbers forward now. Port of Spain, they want something. And that's a good clearance uh, from Jesus Perez. Oh, what good skill from Shea Benny. That's a good ball. Keep well, us coming. That's a good touch as well, well from St. Hilaire. Danger not over. And uh, they will call for some assistance because he might have hurt himself there in the save to Barry St. Hilaire. So he had to get a touch onto that, James. It was a good cross from Shea Benny with his right foot. It went to the far post and St. Hilaire was like a jet coming out. Had to get there before the man coming in at the far post. I think it was McLean, not sure who was coming in at that far post. If anything this game produced, it produced some great highlight moments. Here's look, look one of it. them. Beautiful control, takes on the man, goes by him, looks up, far post, look at St. Hilaire. Had to get there, and he did. Certainly reminds you of one of those old school number 10s, Shea Benny. Touch player that just delights the crowd. But he does come from good pedigree. His uh, uncle, Marvin Joseph and Lorne Joseph, both players who played professionally and at the Trinidad and Tobago level. His uncle, Sheriff Lobo, and his cousin, Marcus Joseph. So when you come from stock like that, well, how could you not become a footballer? I tell you what, he's, he's just as good as any of them. Well, the goal kick. We're in the final minute, but it's going to be interesting just how much time the referee adds on. Well, that's a good tackle. Stops Gill right in his track. Well, Colin, I, I do feel that as we approach the last few seconds of the match, that we will have quite a few minutes of time added yeah. on. There were lots of stoppages. That's right. There was a, a few injuries as well. I estimate it's about five minutes, maybe. I would think so. Yeah, that's the only way to stop him. It's not legal, though. Got to watch himself, though. He's on a yellow card. That's right. Oh, that's a good touch. Loses possession. Well. Are you Paul the Octopus? Because you predicted right Colin Murray, five minutes. That's going to be a throw. AC Quarter Spain. They need to throw everything now at Rangers. Well, they've got five minutes to do it. Can Poon Angeron help his team conjure up something? Handball, handball, maybe. Caleb Wales doesn't think so. Who's going to argue with the referee that that will be the FIFA World Cup. Certainly not me. Here's Merez. Heavy touch. Loses it in a bad area. You don't want to lose it there. Uh, this Russ Russell Jr. He's got options. He's going all alone. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I He's missing he out a, on the action. And, uh, he had a better option, James. Um, Corbin was in the middle. He needed to square that ball. But he decided to go on his own. But um, I, I thought the, the option would have been, uh, the better option would have been playing it inside to Corbin. When you're a defender who fancies yourself as a striker, there's no such thing as better option. It's earned him three goals in the competition so far. But I think his teammates might disagree with that assessment.
It's all about running down the clock now for Terminex Rangers, but nope, they want more. Gill is such a clever player. Only 18 years old as well. What a player. Well, inside the final three minutes. That's a long time for magic to happen. Well, is it a situation the crowd don't want to give back the ball? I thought that only happened in the English League. It's Corbin. He's been really good since he's come on. Crichton looking for Ikim. Oh, what a touch. And a corner. Well, he couldn't take a chance. He wasn't sure what was behind him. Yeah, since Corbin has come on, you, you, you sometimes wonder, had he started this game, you know, what would have happened? Because this man has been uh, super, super, super. Well, they have an opportunity here from a corner to trouble that man. Gill couldn't find anybody. And uh, it's a goal kick. You just feel the weight of the clock now, don't you? Still in the balance at 2-1. Still a very much open contest. Coral. Oh, that's a good turn. Left Ross Russell Jr. out of position. Flag remains down and it's a corner. It's a chance from a set piece. Are there any takers in yellow? It's going to be Shea Benny with it. Looking for Porrell, a touch, oh, and just over the top, well, it took a deflection, didn't it? Yeah, it came close and he has won another chance, they'd want to be alert, Jaden Porrell and company, they're knocking, they're huffing and puffing, Nickel Stevens might have been the man to get the last touch before the deflection, 10 players are forward, and uh, well, he doesn't find any of them. Maybe now. It's Farrell. All of his experience is needed in a moment like this. That's a good touch. And a chance. And a save. Oh. What a match. Well, I thought it came off. I thought it was a save, but Caleb Wheels has said, said differently. Goal kick, yes. Well, here goes Ray just now. Andrews. Couldn't find any of his relatives in red we're in the last minute of the match maybe something here to close things off oh what a save that was what a save from Poon Lewis it's it's end-to-end -end stuff here at La Hoqueta ground what a what a game we've had on our hands even in it's the dying moments the embers are burning hot game. maybe now last chance Last roll of the dice. There's something for the capital men. Powell keeps it alive. Well, there'll be no more action. Unfortunately, all good story tales have to come to an end. And at the end of the match, it's Terminex La Hawkins Rangers who find themselves with three points and more importantly, maintains their spot on top of the table with a 2-1 victory over AC been, Port of Spain. Been a brilliant display here of football. And uh, you have to say that uh, AC Port of Spain was slightly unlucky to come away um, to lose this game because uh, they certainly played exceedingly well. They dominated the first half. And uh, to come away here losing 2-1, they would feel they would feel uh, really very hurt. So let's ha let's have a look at the highlights. The first half here, totally dominated by AC Port of Spain. The shot from McLean there just uh, going wide. And 
the, the header, a loop in one, and uh, Poon Lewis just had to tip it over the bar. But AC Port of Spain continued to dominate, and uh, Poon Angeron playing the ball to, to McLean. He had the shot and going just wide. Then Shea Benny, he also went just wide, and on another day, those two shots might have nestled into the corner of the net, but it was not to be for them. But here goes Shea Benny again. Brilliant run and uh, playing it through to Augustus. He had the shot, but well saved. Then Real Gill, it was his turn. He scored a beauty last week, couldn't find the net here, hitting it just over the bar, trying to go for the top corner. And then in the second half, the substitute came on, Kadim Corbin. He lit up this field, took on the right through the defense, went around the keeper and pushed it into the back of the net. And he says, thank you very much. 1-0, Kadim Corbin doing the trick. And then there goes a shot, the shot coming from Corbin just over the bar. And this is Corbin. Turning it on, going one way, then the next, sends a beauty of a cross. Real kill, should have put it in the back, but it went to Daniel, and he did the honors. 2-0 now for Rangers, and beauty of a goal here, but it should have been Real Gill. It was a lovely cross from Corbin, and then the Shea Benny show, lovely cross ball uh, over the top. Well, not a cross ball, but everybody thought it was a cross ball. He actually saw the keeper off his line, and he went for the far post. Brilliant saved by Sintelea and there goes Corbin again with a shot just wide of the pose it was all action in the second half and this is Shea Benny running at the defense played it to McLean he came inside had it on his right foot and he nestled it into the corner wonderful goal from him but it was not done yet because uh, there was another chance for AC Port of Spain and uh, in the end, they just couldn't uh, get the equaliser and it ended up a two to one. Let's have a look at the stats here in this game. Really a close encounter. 16 shots for the Rangers, 17 shots uh, for AC Port of Spain, seven shots on target, both these teams. This is to tell you how close this game was. And when you go down to corners, four to five, um, six saves to five, you couldn't want it closer uh, than that. Two goals to one, a brilliant uh, game here uh, at the La Hoquita Recreation Ground. Let's uh, go down to James, who has the man of the match. Well, that's right, I'm with Kadeem Corbin, the man of the match. And Kadeem, you're the game changer tonight. That, that must be a good feeling. Yeah, it has to be to come on and score one and set up one. It's, it's feel good. I was looking at you on the bench just before you came in, and it looked like you, were giving, you, get, you got some instructions. What were the instructions like at halftime when you came on? Well, to just do exactly what I, what I come on to do. No, I saw you raise your jersey as well, and you said thank you to the fans after you scored. Tell me about that. Well, the last interview I do, that there was mimicking me about that, so let's keep it going. Yeah, man, and it certainly um, you, you proved all the doubters wrong, and we say thank you to you for providing us with great entertainment. Thank you so much, Kadeem Corbin. Thank you. All right, so I'm going to invite now the coach of AC Port of Spain. What a fight they put up, and uh, Coach Walt Norega. He's not really smiling at the moment, but I can tell you what, he certainly made the folks in Port of Spain proud with a decent performance. It's a tough luck for you. You were with some good momentum coming into this match, but unfortunately, in the end, he just lost out. How does that feel? Oh, it's a bit disappointing, but I must give the boys credit for the effort that they put in. And we just had to tidy up on some of the, the defensive blunders that we're making that cost us the games and them. Well, you got two wins in a row coming into this match. Uh, is the momentum shifting in your team's favor, you think? Yes, the team now starting to gel. The team now getting com comfortable. The boys now starting to believe in what we're trying to do. They now starting to believe in the fitness. They believe in the work that we're trying to do. So I believe the second round will augur well for us. And just before I let you go, you didn't seem intimidated at all coming up against the league leaders. Uh, what was the mindset like coming into this Now, well, we know the Locator Rangers team, they have a lot of potential. They have a lot of talent in the team. So no matter what 11 the Locator Rangers pull, it's always a formidable team that we have to show respect to, but at the end of the day, I, I still are satisfied with the boys' effort tonight. Well, we are satisfied with the performance and the entertainment that your team provided. Thank you so much. Thank all, you. All right, so I now invite the coach of Tillman Exola, Hockey Rangers. Well, he's wiping his brow because I tell you what, it came down to the wire. Yeah, yes, Dave Cormina, you're here with us. Uh, 
it was much closer than most people anticipated. How was it from a perspective on the bench? First of all, I must say, um, thanks to the thanks to the the, the, the AC Port of Spain team for, for playing on our show. They made us sweat tonight. Um, we we were, we were, we wasn't we wasn't expecting it to be this tough. You see the quality of the league. The league is a very tough league. Teams stepping up, and second rounds will be even harder. Well, some people might call you Mumford because you seem to work magic at halftime every time. You made a shuffle, you gambled with some players, and it worked out. What do you, what, what worked specifically for your team tonight? I think I think um, anybody on the bench could come on and do the job. I think we we, we trained very hard. We trained. They can see it hours a day. Um, video session. Drills, simulation games. So, so the, the, the game sometimes, be the salary, you have to put in the effort. And that is what we, well, that is what we did tonight. Um, like I said, this team was a tough team. They made us work very hard. And I want to say um, thanks to the coaching staff and the, and the players. They did a good job. And you see the quality of the league. It's now a walkover league. You have to work, you have to come and work on the day. Well, your team worked and certainly you're keeping the top spot going into the break period. Thank you so much. I'm going to take you out of the rain. It's unfair to keep a winner in the rain that long. Okay, thanks. As I send it back upstairs to Colin Murray, who is high and dry at the moment. Thank you very much, uh, James. So that's the situation here at the Lohet, Loha, La Hoketa Recreation Ground. Let's have a look at the games for the weekend. It's uh, Deportivo. Uh, they come up against Maruga. Uh, that is on Saturday at the Arima Velodrome. And uh, then um, the second game at the Arima Velodrome, it's Defence Force versus uh, Real West uh, Fort United. Those games are at 5 and 7 p.m. And then on Sunday at 5 p.m. at the St. James Barracks, it's Central FC. They come up against uh, Police FC on the Sunday. So, so that's the situation here. Two good games. Central Sports uh, will winning one goal to nil in the first game uh, against... Um, Canupia, and in the second game, a real cracker, uh, Terminex La Hoketa Rangers winning by two goals to one against AC Porter Spain. Thank you very much for viewing. It's been a great uh, evening of football entertainment on behalf of all of us. It's uh, good night, and we'll see you again in the Ascension uh, Tournament.